All right, the next thing that I want to do is um, this sphere. And so, <clears throat> again, my light is coming down from above. And so maybe my high highlight part there is going to be like right in here, a circular area. It can be larger and it can be smaller. In essence, we want this area in up here to be painted first and then I'm going to avoid at least the little dot there that is the um, like an ellipse okay and it might even go um, a little bit more along uh, kind of like a crescent uh, shape or an elongated shape just a little bit so I want to get some paint and um, some you know some paint and some water so dipping into both and thinning down the paint so that it's not so dark okay and i want to go and do this first part again up at the top and it's all going to flow downward okay i need to see what's going on on this side so i can get that edge okay and i need plenty of paint Again, it's almost dripping so that I can make sure that I'm um, continuing. Okay, so I'm going to add more on the outer edges. Okay, and touching that. Okay, I'm still coming down. Okay. And going a little bit more in a circular manner rather than straight lines across. Okay. And I'm going to pick up more color from my palette because I want a heavier color and coming around and touching that. And then I do have some mixed, very dark um, uh, color here. And coming around and doing the heaviest part um, of the color. And the brush, I'm also kind of swirling it around like in a crescent. Okay. So I wouldn't work too much um, back into it. Like you don't see me going coming way back up here or working into it. We may even end up doing, you know, a couple of layers of this same thing. So I'm going to come back with a little bit more of the lighter color and not too much of it. Okay. And come back touching the, the darker area. And again, kind of in a crescent and lifting up. So I have the reflected area. I have a darker area. And we have a lighter and we have a highlight. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and allow that to uh, dry. And the issue with something like this um, is that we're tempted to go back in and correct. And you really just need to work it out and get a feel for working uh, the paint in this way. Allow the watercolor to bleed into each other. Is it going to be perfect? Well, probably not, but it really takes a lot of practice to do this sort of uh, thing. Okay. Okay. Now for this um, one here. All right. I need rinse my brush and just have you know a little slightly little bit of pigment um for this and i'm going to go all the way out on the outer edge and not even go inside near that um bright spot okay and like in a an ellipse then now picking up um, a little bit more pigment to start with. And again, going around in a
a circle but not coming into too much here okay um, I need much more pigment so I'm adding some here I'm not going straight across but I'm adding more and having plenty of pigment Um, helps it to do what it's supposed to do, and that is more of a gradient effect. So it's almost like a half moon or a crescent at the outer edges. Okay, more pigment just in this area. Okay. And then a regular amount of pigment for the outer edges. I will um, kind of finish it out by um, a little bit of pigment and bring it in around. Again, like in a half crescent. Okay. Does it matter if it is um, not perfect? Uh, no, it does not matter if it's not perfect, okay? Um, you get better as you go along. I need to add a, a teeny bit of a, an edge there, okay? Um, that should um, about do it. You see it's blending a little bit more. I've got a deeper um, color out here where it was in the middle. Whereas before it was like all one color from here all the way up to that little bright spot. And I could do with one more pass, you know, uh, after this dries to get this worked out right here and a little bit more um, color right in this band before we get to the darkest um, areas. And in fact, um, I could stand to pick up a little bit here because it's kind of dark. But do you see me going back over and over and over? No, you, you really have to stop at a certain point. It's so tempting to make it so that um, we keep going over it. Um, what I need to do is not paint in this area anymore and bring this around a little bit with more color down here, okay?